In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HCl. This is sodium sulfite, and this is hydrochloric acid. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. You can see that there's one sodium here and two here. I'm going to put a two in front of the NaCl. Now I have two sodiums. They're balanced two chlorines. So I need to put a two here, and I think that balances this equation. Yep, that's balanced. So now we have our molecular equation and it is balanced. Next, we need to write the states. We know that sodium sulfite, sodium compounds, very soluble in water, put a little AQ. And then HCl, that's a strong acid. That's gonna be aqueous as well. It'll dissolve in water, break apart into its ions. On the product side, we have NaCl, sodium compounds again. Those are gonna be soluble in water, break apart into their ions. SO2, you should recognize that that will be a gas and then water will be a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. That gives us the complete or total ionic equation. So the strong electrolytes, those are the ones that have AQ after it. So we can split those apart into their ions. Sodium in group one, that forms one plus ions. The sulfite ion, one to remember, that's two minus. Hydrogen, one plus chlorine, one minus, and then we have plus and minus. And then we don't do anything with these because they aren't aqueous. They aren't strong electrolytes. Now we can split them apart into the ions. We have Na plus, but that two means we have two of those, plus SO3 two minus, that's the sulfite ion, plus we have H plus and Cl minus. The two means we have two of them. So we have two H plus ions, hydrogen ion, plus two of the chloride ions, Cl minus. So these are the reactants. For the products, we have two of the sodium ions, Na plus, plus we have the two chloride ions, and then we're not gonna split the SO2 or the H2O apart. We only split apart the ones with aqueous, the strong electrolytes. So we're just gonna put SO2 plus H2O. So I haven't written the states for these. We'll do that at the end. Because now I have the complete or total ionic equation, I can cross out spectator ions. Spectator ions, they appear on both sides. So in essence, they really haven't changed, so we're not worried about them. For example, I have two Na plus here and two Na plus here in the products. I'm gonna cross those out. SO3 minus H plus. I have two chloride ions in the reactants, two chloride ions in the product. Cross them out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation right here. This is our net ionic equation. Let me clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have the net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HCl. So this is the net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus hydrochloric acid. Quite often you'll see the H plus put first. It really doesn't matter, but let's just do that. It looks a little neater there. And this is our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.